the greatest ideas have come from sitting on the toilet. Every day, some company, individual or group, is known for giving the public a load of bullshit. Come here to get your daily dose of shit by Alan Cousin. It's time you hear the shit everyone wants to know. Of shit podcast with Alan Cousin Wah. on Rev Get Up Radio here to delight you and profound you and enlighten you and just basically talk. So, yeah, anyway, it's Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. We're still here, everybody's still around, I guess, surviving possible alien ships, UFOs, maybe, uh. You know, inflation still going up, tickering. Weather, of course, is very drastically changed. Um, it is currently 75 degrees here in Dallas, Texas. Yet it's February, meaning it's winter time. I think the thing called um, El Nino has occurred. Uh, El Nino occurred about 10 years ago. Well, basically, it flipped the script, so to speak. So that wherever it was supposed to be cold, it was hot. And wherever it was supposed to be hot, it was cold. I never forget when El Nino first kicked in or I should say El Nina because that's the opposite New York didn't have snow and was like 75 degrees and New Orleans had snow and was like 30 degrees so yeah El Nino has kicked in so now we're having some rapid changes to our climate so to speak as the upper north is expecting strong heavy winter blizzards while the lower south is expecting an actual heat situation during winter time amazing what can happen on this planet earth you know amazing but you know who knows what else happens outside of earth in space um we really don't know, do we? One day I'm sure we'll find out, but not today. Uh, but speaking of space, um, I wanted to talk about something I think is very interesting. And I'm sure we all talked about it at one time or another. Some of us believe in it, some of us don't. We look at the stars, right? And of course we see various stars and of course various stars up there has been known to create zodiac signs that we are established and knowing you know, because these zodiac, of course, tells us of different signs based on our birth year and birth date, and basically gives us a brief glimpse of what supposedly those individuals born in that particular time period will act and how their personality may be and their demeanor and character and so forth. Now, of course, there are people out there that are like, what is it? Zodiac, Bodiac, pff, anyway. And then there's people like, there and they're like ooh zodiac i am 100% down i am 100% into it and i truly do believe it so it just depends on who you are and what you are and you know how you think and what you think and yada 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 yo i mean some people say tomato some people say to- tomato some people say potato some people say potato you know so it just depends but the main thing is we're going to talk about it today so um. Yeah, zodiac signs. What about these zodiac signs? Cause you know people always talk about how, man, it doesn't really matter whether he or she is a Sagittarius or Aquarius or Cancer or whatever. Um, yeah, I beg to differ. Let me tell you something. I may only be in my late forties. But I have dated enough women in my times to say that I can truly, without a doubt, logically say that zodiac signs do, in effect, help you with your relationship. Reason being is that I have dated some cancers, and my wife was a cancer ex-wife, by the way. <coughs> so, 
And let me tell you, cancers are known to be very self-centered, very uh, established in doing well for themselves, but always basing their life on their needs and their needs only. And I can tell you, my wife, even though she wasn't an Italian descent, she still was a cancer and she was a very much about herself and what she wanted and what she needed to get and everyone else came second and I do mean everyone else so anyway and then of course I will tell you about the Aquarius you know those Aquarius you know they are so known to be as I've been told flaky Meaning that there are many times that they'll say, hey, let's meet. Let's go to the movies on Thursday. And then Thursday gets here. And then guess what? No person is there to meet you. And you think they're going to text you, call you, let you know that they changed their mind? No, they just don't even correspond with you or communicate. And then when you go back and you say, hey, where are you? I'm here. No response. But then two weeks later, maybe... They're going to come back and say, hey, how you doing? Sorry about whatever happened. Let's meet up again and things happen and, you know, whatever. But I have free time, so and so you want to meet again. Yeah, yeah, this is this is Aquarius. They are known for creating these setups and then never showing up at all. And let me tell you, they won't do it once. They won't do it twice. They won't do it three times. They'll do it many times. So if you want to deal with that, Hey, go right ahead because here's the thing they're very loyal people now like once you get them you'll keep them but that's the thing you have to get them first you gotta be able to meet them first to get them and guess what meeting them is gonna be the hardest part of the relationship because they're gonna steadily tell you that they're available and steadily stand you up so just saying now Sagittarius and yes I will say myself I am a Sagittarius but I'm a little different in the means of my Sagittarius ways Sagittarius are known for being very smart very alert very motivated determined but they tend to be very powerful in the situation of always wanting to flirt and test the waters or the buffet as I call it and also they're not one to be very much into relationships, you know. They're not one to want to be tied down, married, you know, deal with one person only. So, I will say that is unfortunately a negative about Sagittarius. But hey, if you can get one and keep one and actually stop them from doing the flirtation or, as they say, enjoying the buffet without your permission then you got a very good person on your hands because of the other great skills and great talents that Sagittarius has. And of course, Taurus, just as good as a Sagittarius, if not better. I mean, they're very powerful, very motivated, very intelligent, very much into getting what they want. When they see something they want, they go after it and they get it. Only thing about a Taurus, they tend to be a little bit, why am I even going to say be like, they tend to be a lot stubborn, stubborn a lot, hard had like a bull, bull headed, stubborn. So Taurus, if you can get them and keep them and make them loyal to you, then great, wonderful, exciting, amazing. But until then, you have to work your ass off to get it because they'll be the ones that'll not talk to you not text you not call you because if you're not important in their eyes or their mind they literally forget about you like literally like you'd be best friends with a Taurus I mean literally I'm talking about best friends besties for years and unless they're thinking about you they will not communicate with you but when they say oh you know what I haven't talked to so and so in a while <laughs> let me text and they'll text because you're on their mind at that moment because you're important at that particular specific time. So just remember that with Tauruses. That they are not one to be very much communicative. Unless you are important to them. And very much something that they need in their life. Otherwise you will be getting pitter patter communication from your Taurus. Which 
some of us, I'm sure, would not enjoy and some of us would not be able to deal with. But as I said, you know, it's amazing how these signs, right? I mean, you're like, oh, pff, whatever. I'm not even going to take my time to look into that. I'll just focus on the person. Well, the sign is focusing on the person. The sign that Zodiac was created thousands of years ago because they actually took the time to focus on the individual based on the star chart to discover what planet and star and sun inter integrated into creating that particular zodiac sign and then therefore giving you the beneficial characteristics of what that individual may be born with and i must say my personal opinion because of course we're all opinionated right zodiac signs to me are about 90 percent effective if not 95 percent yeah you'll have a couple of flaws you have a couple of eh, no, it didn't go like it did, but you know what? For the most part, they're kind of on point. And let me tell you, you want to get a book that's going to amaze you, and I do mean amaze you, because I was like, no way. And I bought the book, and I was like, oh my God. Yes way. The birthday book. I'm going to say it again. The birthday book. Now, granted, this birthday book is going to cost you about $80 to $100, unless you get it on sale or used. But pretty much, you're going to have to pay a little bit to get this book. But let me tell you, if you want to know about your spouse, you want to know about your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, or you want to know about just your boss or anyone else or just people in general, get the birthday book. Because when you get this birthday book, it is going to amaze you. Because you pick a birthday, you read that day, and it is amazing how accurate it is about the individual born on that day. It scares me, literally. Like, I'm like, this book had to be created by witchcraft or voodoo or something because it's just too on point. Literally, too much on point. So, that's something you may want to look into. You might maze yourself. Be some good reading. I mean, I've done, you know, reading here and there when I was bored and wanted to learn about somebody or someone or like mm, you know what I think I know this person but do I let me read the birthday book and see how close I am to knowing and understanding them or didn't I couldn't figure out something about the individual I was currently dating or a friend of mine who I you know was friends with but they had an issue and I didn't know how to help them resolve it but the birthday book came in handy many of times so just saying something you might want to think about but like I said I am one for the Zodiac. I am one that believes in the Zodiac. I am one that pays attention to the Zodiac. I know a couple of my friends that's like bah humbug. But I know a couple of my friends that's religiously on that Zodiac sign just like I am. And you know with relationships nowadays I will say it's just all up in the air. Because you got so many of them now that just wants an open poly. Meaning that basically in their eyes they just want to have sex with everybody and anybody whenever they feel like it. Without having to get permission or feel like they're doing anything illegal or breaking any kind of rules in a relationship. So really honestly not really many relationships out there and a lot of divorces unfortunately. But if you indeed find someone who you believe could be in a relationship with you, hey, the Zodiac, I would highly suggest you pay attention to their sign. And B, the birthday book, I would highly suggest you buy it because trust me, it will save you a lot in arguments, depression, anxiety, and more so, very importantly, money. Who not? Who does not want to save money? Hmm? 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 Who never wants to save money in a relationship? Come on, come on. Any anybody who's raising their hand to say no? I didn't think so. Yeah, everybody wants to save money, especially in a relationship. So, because guess what? Your relationship tends to last longer than anything else in your life, even your job, if you think about it. If it's a good one. So, that was me. That was what I thought about today while I decided to sit on my porcelain throne, which was surprisingly very lukewarm because it wasn't cold outside. Surprisingly. But you know what? Makes me wonder. Calm before the storm, maybe? Because I'm sorry. I like winter time to be winter. I might not like the snow and I might not, might not like the cold, but still, if it's winter time, I want it to be winter, not summer. Because the weather... 
I don't want it changing up and down because I kind of want to know what to wear or how should I drive or, you know, when I go somewhere, how should I prepare myself? And um, with this climate change, that doesn't exist, by the way, right? Uh, yeah, that's according to some individuals and groups and societies out there that basically said, you know, climate change, <laughs> what is that? Um, but anyway, this climate change, um, I'm not liking it. And I really don't hope that it doesn't change too much further or too much more because, you know, I, I don't really want to have to, like, wear a jacket, umbrella, and have shorts in the back of my car just in case I need to change my clothes because of the climate. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot of work just to want to go out and have fun, you know? Yeah, not 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 my kind of party. So, yes, yeah, so you've heard me discuss my opinion on the Zodiac, my opinion on relationships with the Zodiac, my opinion on the birthday book. And I'm going to say it like this. If you are a see i should say uh aquarius if you are a cancer if you are a scorpio yeah uh gemini yeah don't think about talking to me don't worry about trying to look me up um swipe left go find someone else i'm not your type Trust me, I know. So, but you know, other times, hey, give me a holla. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm always looking for a person to go out and have fun with, you know, mutually and, you know, on a dating experience, so to speak. But that's if, you know, you're interested. If you're not, psh, hey, don't worry about it. I'm just saying, um, I would just focus on those zodiac signs and um, just make sure you kind of understand who you're dealing with before you decide to commit. Yeah. Trust me, don't want to lose no money now. No need to lose a lot of money in the future. Just saying. So, with that being said, that was my daily dose of shit. I'm pretty much straight to the point, as you can see. Very opinionated today. But you know what? Hey, it's a Tuesday. I feel like being opinionated. So, guess what? I'm being opinionated. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you feel like you want to uh, discuss it with me one day, feel free to email me at let's talk at getupradio.com and you know what who knows i might bring you on and we can talk about zodiac signs together and you can tell me why you think they're not real or worth our time because you know what i love debates and i'm always up for one so with that being said thank you for enjoying my daily dose of shit and until tomorrow just remember there's idiots everywhere just laugh and keep walking. Thanks for listening to your, your daily, daily dose, dose of shit, shit talk show. If you have some insights, questions, or information of bullshit to pass on, please email us at momentous events at AOL.com. Make sure to come back daily to hear some new shit about money, business, life, and who knows what else. As I take a dump on the toilet. Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs>